coming into the season, coming into the season, my top five storylines that are under the radar the most. And I mentioned him. Now, you could be like, wait a minute. What do you mean under the radar? The biggest free agency shock, although it wasn't terribly shocking, I always thought the Giants would never let him walk. Uh, honestly, I, I never thought. And the, the pushback you get from Giants fans, like, well, without, if they had signed him, they might not have had, you know, Brian Burns or this or that. And I understand you're reconstructing your team, mm -hmm. but you're going to, you're, you're, you're staring in the face having either A, a new rookie quarterback, or B, Daniel Jones again, and you're going to let Saquon Barkley walk? Certainly when you know the Eagles might take him? So clearly this has been discussed. So how is it under the radar? My under the radar sense and storyline was, will he be able to plus up the Eagles in the same way Christian McCaffrey plussed up the 49ers? And the similarities... Are, are right there. Because McCaffrey joined a Niners team that had made a Super Bowl. Lost it. And then turbocharged an offense full of stars. Put them on a totally different plane. They're not splitting carries at running back. They're not wondering who their running back is. They're not wondering what the identity is when you're trying to run and have the pass come off the run. And then you got somebody that can catch it and run it, too. And, yeah, also had some injury conversation, right? Can he stay healthy? Yeah. Kind of similar. Joining the Eagles, they lost the Super Bowl. They have stars everywhere else. The run game, with all due respect to DeAndre Swift, this is a different story. Can he plus up? the Eagles in the same way and turbocharge them the same way that Christian McCaffrey did for the 49ers. One game in, the answer is, yes. you bet. <laughs> Big yes. You bet. You bet. Because Hertz wasn't having too much success finding some of his receivers down there in Brazil on Friday night. Like, that passing game wasn't, as stout as, say, the passing game was in their Super Bowl year, you know, the big play to A.J. Brown game, yep. right? So, look out, Atlanta. This would be a nice game for Bijan Robinson just uncork some mm -hmm. monster buck 50 scrimmage yard contest. Yep. Multiple score, buck, like his, his breakout. That would be great. And I understand I'm saying that about a rookie guy who had, what, 1,400 scrimmage yards last year? I'm looking forward to Monday night. But Saquon plussing up the Eagles with a chip on his shoulder. Had you like me uh, equating myself to Saquon Barkley? Uh, always. But you pointed out the fact that the quads weren't exactly yeah, the same. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. My two quads together are half of his. <laughs> Probably true. Nobody's ever looked at me and goes, there goes Quadzilla. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.